Well, I guess I knew what I was signing up for when I <laughs> married him. John's a man who wants to make a difference. That's what he wants to do. Karen Kasich says she would never him. try to block her husband's political ambitions because they might interrupt family plans. But she will also never step away from what she sees as her number one agenda item. The first thing I have to do is worry about taking care of Emma and Reese. So that's what takes up most of my time. Then the time that's left, again, I'll probably focus in the two areas that we talked about, prevention of childhood obesity and women and heart disease. Her very so, first public commitment is to lead the Heart Association's Go Red for Women campaign. But she spent much of the last year on a very different kind of campaign, in the unforgiving glare of the political spotlight. Her girls were shielded from those nasty ads. So the TV was off, unless it was the Disney Channel. And fortunately, the politicians haven't figured out yet that the Disney Channel is a good way <laughs> to reach the families. So they didn't really see the ads, and frankly, neither did I. The 10-year-old twins take their father's new job in stride. We're living in our own home, as you know. I think that helps. It helps keep the kids grounded to be staying in their own home with their own Chores. It's been a while since we've had children that young in the governor's mansion or, or part of the first family. It would, did that roll into the decision of where you were going to live? Absolutely. Yeah, the less we uproot them, the better. She says the girls were excited to get new clothes for all the inaugural events, although politicos say the sleeveless and toned the Karen States Kasich stole the show. States. Is that part of the exercise routine, and did, or did, were you just planning to overshadow your husband? <laughs> I didn't really mean to steal his thunder. Um, no, I exercise with weights, and I have for years. And then I also do a lot of cardio, swimming, running, exercise equipment. It's just what I like to do, and it's a good stress reliever as well. She works out nearly every day, but she knows her personal time will be limited as she adjusts to being first lady, mom, and wife. Do you see yourself as an advisor or as a sounding board? Both. I think we're that for each other. Private support for what is about to be a very public life. He ran for governor for one reason and one reason only, and that was to help people in Ohio, and I'm pretty sure Ohio's in good hands, so I don't mind it.